The ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas, Mr. President, has led to a large-scale loss of civilian lives, especially women and children, and has resulted in an alarming humanitarian crisis. This is clearly unacceptable, and we have strongly condemned the death of civilians. At the same time, Mr. President, we are aware that the immediate trigger were the terror attacks in Israel on 7th October, which were shocking and deserve our unequivocal condemnation. India has a zero-tolerance approach to terrorism. There can be no justification for terrorism and hostage-taking. Our thoughts are with those who have been taken as hostage, and we demand their immediate and unconditional release. I will also state, Mr. President, that the leadership of India is in constant touch with the leaders of the region, including those of Israel and Palestine. We've also voiced our views in multilateral fora, such as the G20, the BRICS, and at the Voice of the Global South Summit in November 2023, and have reiterated our long-standing and principled position on the issue. We have also called for continued humanitarian aid for the affected population, and in this regard, we hope that Security Council Resolution 2720 would aid in enhancing humanitarian assistance. I will also remind this Assembly that India has so far provided 70 tons of humanitarian aid, including 16.5 tons of medicine and medical supplies in two tranches to the people of Palestine. We've also provided US dollars 5 million, including the US dollar 2.5 million we provided in end December 2023 to the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine refugees in the Near East, which will go to support the agency's core programs and services, including education, health care, relief and social services provided to Palestinian refugees. The message that India has conveyed since the start of this conflict is clear and consistent. It is important to prevent escalation, to ensure continued delivery of humanitarian aid, and to work towards an early restoration of peace and stability. A peaceful resolution of the conflict through dialogue and diplomacy is the only way forward. I will conclude, Mr. President, by reaffirming India's firm commitment to achieving a just, peaceful and lasting solution to the Israel-Palestine issue. We firmly believe that only a two-state solution achieved through direct and meaningful negotiations between both sides on final status issues will deliver an enduring peace that the people of Israel and Palestine desire and deserve. For this, we urge the parties to de-escalate, eschew violence, and work towards creating conditions for an early resumption of direct peace negotiations. Thank <laughs> you.